بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله الحسد having envy and hatred for your brothers and sisters in Islam is muharram and this envy as the ulama have described it from the salaf of this ummah is when you desire that the ni'mah the blessing that Allah has favored upon one of his servants be taken away from him just pure hasid pure hatred pure envy so Islam discourages us from this behavior and this is a characteristic that those of us who have embraced Islam we understood this concept even as non-Muslims being a hater wishing to you see someone they have a nice car you see someone they have a beautiful spouse you see someone they have wealth and you want it to be taken away just because you don't have it and it's not just that you want it or perhaps you don't even want it but you just don't want good for them so this is envy and this is mathmoom and this is a wicked characteristic that we should warn against and do your best to fight that within yourself that it, whenever you see its ugly head reared that you should fight it and say alhamdulillah for what Allah has blessed me with and may Allah bless him in that عن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إياكم والحسد فإن الحسد يأكل الحسنات كما تأكل النار الحطب أخرجه أبو داود وليبن ماجة من حديث أنس ونحوي Narrated Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu, Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Avoid envy, for envy devours the good deeds just as fire devours firewood. Ahabat of don't be envious of your brothers and sisters in Islam. And don't be envious even of the non Muslims. Allah has, Allah is a razak. And he gives his rizq لمن يشاء ويعز من يشاء Allah raises and gives status to whomsoever he pleases and honor. And he gives his rizq and provisions to whomsoever he pleases subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, you being thankful, you being grateful is not exhibited when you want to remove the ni'mah, remove the blessings that someone else has been given. This is something that we have to fight within ourselves, Ahabatifillah. Jihad al nafs. That you have to fight it internally to not want the ni'mah, the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be taken from someone. And as we mentioned, some people they want it to be taken from someone and they don't even want the blessing themselves. It's just they have that much hatred and hasid in their heart that they just don't want good. So be of those who want good, want good for yourself and want good for your brothers. The Prophet وسلم, said, لا يؤمن أحدكم إذا أح... يا... لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى يحب لي أخيه ما يحب لي نفس. The Prophet وسلم, said, one of you doesn't truly believe until he wants for his brother what he wants for himself. So that means if you want good, you want a beautiful, righteous spouse. You want that for your brother. You want to increase your wealth and you want to make a rihla to go study the deen, to learn 
and b better your Islam, then you want that for your brother. You don't get jealous. Oh, I heard so and so got into Jamaat Islamia. I don't think he's deserving of that. Oh, I so I heard sister so and so she got married to brother so and so. She's not deserving of that. Oh, I heard so and so just got a really nice job. <laughs> they didn't deserve that. And you want the na'ma to be taken from them. This is evil. This is hasid. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi let us know it's muharram and that it's prohibited and that it's something mithmum and evil and leads to the fire and as firewood eats up the dry wood the the envy it eats up your good deeds and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam